since 1948, the NHS has improved wherever you want to look. Outcomes, throughput, infrastructure, data, and so on. The late Lord Walton once wrote that just before the NHS began, one of his first assignments was to be a locum for a single-handed GP in Northumberland who hadn't had a holiday for five years. In the practice, he found no staff and practically no equipment. Whatever we've done since then, the NHS has changed beyond recognition and the public is broadly satisfied with it. So why not just continue just as we are? Well, we could, but we know why not. First, economic growth, productivity are limper than we'd like. Healthcare contributes, what, 10, 20% uh, to our overall health. Cutting other budgets, education, welfare, social care, public health, would clearly pile more pressure on the NHS because it's a place where the lights are always on. It's the safety net of the safety net. Second reason, quality of care is clearly improving at a respectable rate in many areas, but we still trail behind other nations we like to compare ourselves with. You might conclude from that you get what you pay for. But the OECD was puzzled why the excess of initiatives sweeping the country hadn't translated into more improvement. The third reason why we can't just carry on is that we know about the pressure stacking up that will severely affect demand and supply in future. And fourth, to continue just as we are would be to accept a slower speed to a healthier future. Big opportunities are visible, which you know about AI, robotics, machine learning, genomics, virtual reality, and so on. These are stacking up on the horizon and could be here quicker if we play our cards right.